My name is Dr. Moira Leng. I've had uh, more than three decades experience in palliative care education in university and hospital and NGO and community settings. And I'm joining you from Uganda, where I'm a senior advisor for palliative care at McKerry University. I also have um, current roles in Islamic University of Gaza in um, Edinburgh University and as medical director of a global palliative care organization, uh, CARDIS, and lastly, in humanitarian palliative care in Palchase. I want to just give you one uh, tip for uh, developing education. Meet the needs of the people you're talking to. Senior educators, deans of universities tell me that palliative care people come, they ask for something, they ask very emotively, and they don't really appreciate the situation that person's in, the amount of pressure on a curriculum, uh, the difficulty of putting something in. So understand where they're coming from. Talk about golden threads. That's way, ways in which some of the principles of palliative care can be delivered through other areas like pharmacology for the morphine issues, like psychiatry or family medicine for communication and family support. You can even review curriculums and take that out. See where are the competencies for palliative care happening and where can we strengthen them rather than saying it always has to happen in a, a separate course. So a kind of vertical and horizontal way of looking at education and this golden thread or circular way of looking at education. The Dean of the Medical School in Rwanda said to me, please give me something that can help the deans of my faculty who know how to implement curriculums understand palliative care. So we developed a curriculum toolkit and that was answering the needs that he gave. Yep. But also make sure we teach that in with modes and modalities that are innovative, creative and interesting and that might pull in people from other areas or build capacity. So should we, first of all, be training people within the faculties? Should we, I saw in, in, in Uganda, for example, they trained nurse tutors. It let us think of what does that faculty or institution or setting or government need? Yep. How can we meet those needs? How can we develop the kind of students with the competencies they would like to see and make sure, of course, the holistic, compassionate palliative care is at the heart of that. One uh, senior physician, when we were arguing for more palliative care time in the internal medicine postgraduate curriculum, said to me, said to the whole meeting, please put palliative care in year one, because if they can communicate, they're better cardiologists. Thank you.